Okay, today's the day. After weeks of waiting, I finally have the correct shaft stands for my cylinder heads, as well as the correct intake and exhaust push rods to put the steel together. Do you want to say anything before I keep going? All right, without further ado, it is time to install the CID oval port heads onto my 400 inch LS engine. Today is a Thursday afternoon that I'm filming this engine on. My plan is to build the whole thing today. We're going to final install everything. Intake manifold goes on the whole nine yards. And then Saturday, we're going to jump on the engine dyno and break the motor in naturally aspirated and see how much power it makes in a by itself. And then it goes to chassis shop, gets turbos, and then we have some real fun. So first thing we need to do, um, I'm running a copper Clark head gasket. They told me to give it a nice soak with blue Hylomar spray since I am going to run water through this guy. So we're going to do that, let it tack up for a little bit, and then we can torque down these cylinder heads. Okay, it's a new day here in Texas. We ended up not making as much progress the other day on the engine as I would like to, but I'm today going to finish installing the valve train on the cylinder heads. The heads are bolted down. Uh, because they're copper, I let them sit overnight, and then the next day I came in and pulled all the bolts tight. They moved a little bit, it's to be expected. Got our billet valley plate on the motor as well. Got my studs all installed for the intake and the headers. And yeah, like I said, today I'm gonna to install the valve train and then we can start 
fitting the valve covers and figure out what we need to do to get those to fit this steel shaft rocker system. So first step, bolt down the rocker stands. The intake bolts in this motor go into the intake runner. Right here, you can see my finger underneath it. And so we're gonna put thread sealant on those bolts, but then just use regular thread lubricant on the exhaust side of things. We'll torque those down to 50 foot-pounds, and then we can start assembling the rocker system with our massive 7 16 thick push rods. These are tool steel. They've got tool steel tips. They do have through push rod oiling, but these are some bad units from Smith Bros. And they even labeled them intake and exhaust for me. Pretty sick. So let's get to work. So these push rods are 7 16 in diameter. And like I was saying, they have a tool steel tip pressed on one side of them because of the extreme spring pressure. This motor is going to run with its camshaft. So I just blew brake clean through all of them, looked down the tube to make sure there was no obstructions or debris. And now we can get these dropped into the motor and I'll come back with a flashlight to make sure that everything is sitting in the correct spot. And then, yeah, we can assemble the rest of the valve train. And this motor will be one step closer to running on the dyno and then heading into my car. In this engine, I have titanium intake valves and Inconel exhaust valves. And with these valve springs, I'm gonna have about 700 to 750, I think it's 750 actually, pounds of open pressure. Um, that's a lot of force, obviously. So to protect that soft titanium alloy and Inconel valve, Inconel valve alloy, I'm gonna run a hardened tool steel little lash cap that goes right on the tip of the valve so that the rocker arm can beat up that lash cap instead of damaging the super, super expensive titanium intake valves and end canal exhaust valves. So I think we're just about there. Now I'll start setting up and installing the rocker arms.
there it is. Valve train is all installed. Geometry is finally perfect. Pushrod lengths are perfect. Next step is figuring out a valve cover solution to clear these rockers. ICT Billet makes these spacers that have a milled out pocket on the inside for shaft mount rockers. And so I think this is gonna be my ticket, but even then you can still see that they're major interference on the interior. This side I did already kind of grind it away and I think that's gonna be my solution. Just a little bit at a time, test fitting it until all the rocker arms clear. So I'm gonna spend some time with the grinder and I'll come back when these are finished and valve covers are ready to be installed on the motor. Okay, there's the long block for the 400 inch LS. I'm still having some issues with valve covers. I got these ICT billet spacers that are designed for shaft rockers because they have this little pocket. I basically ground it as thin as I could in some areas and I still need to grind basically double that amount out. So I'm gonna order a couple valve cover options that I think will work based on some of your guys' suggestions on Facebook. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. I'll get it uploaded. And then the next video you guys see will hopefully have valve covers fitted on the motor and we will be in the dyno room making some noise. So I'll leave you with one last look at the motor. It's a beast with everything mounted up on it now. So sick. Thank you for watching this series. I really appreciate all of y'all's support. Have a nice day and I'll see you later.